monkey in your pants. Hi right, folks, Monkey Spaz here, back with another video. Now this is a video that I've been asked to do quite a few times in the past, and I've been too lazy stroke and never bothered to do it for one reason or another. Um, but I genuinely keep getting asked, and I've said I'm going to do it many, many times. So I thought what I will do is um, for the geeky people who watch the channel, um, I thought I'd give you a quick tour of my work stroke gaming stroke streaming PC setup. Um, it's quite good, built it myself, upgrades, etc, etc, etc. It's a bit of a beast, it's very good, it's very capable, the whole setup's quite good to be fair. Um, but what I will do is I'll switch over to my iPhone. Now it's the first time I'm going to be recording with my iPhone, so the audio might go a little bit weird as well. But um, I'll switch over my iPhone and I'll basically give you a run over my setup. The reason I'm not going to switch to this camera is because it's mounted up there. So and I think this microphone is drooping, which is doing my head in. It's a Blue Yeti boom arm. It's not a Blue Yeti microphone. And I've tightened it as much as I can and it just slowly dingle dangle drops out the way. <sighs> Anybody can recommend a good boom arm. It's not ridiculously cheap as chips nonsense. Let me know. I might look at the... I'm sure it's disappearing as I talk. I might look at the road one. Anyway, here's a look at my PC. So, excuse the audio. I'm just going to use the onboard mic on the iPhone. So this is my setup. Um, I'll go into a little bit more detail. Like so. Uh, some big badass lights there. And over here is I have um, a noble cheers chair, epic, it's decent. I had a, a Corsair chair in the past and uh, the wheels fell off, it was squeaky as hell, it was pump on a stick is what it was, it was absolutely, absolutely shocking. So it's quite a nice setup, as you can see, for working, stroke, streaming. Um, if you don't follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitch, monkeyspaz5000, um, I will be doing more and more streams as we go along, as we go along, uh, I can't talk, you know what I mean, I'll be doing some more streaming, is what I'll be doing. So we'll start over here I suppose, ignore those boxes. Um, it's a Blue Yeti, can't remember what they call this, but it's a Blue Yeti boom arm, because I got it with a Blue Yeti mic originally, ignore the cables down there, horrendous non-cable tidying. Um, I got it with a Blue Yeti mic, but I've since changed that out, so I'll sit down. Now we'll go over everything. So this is um, a Rode pod mic, um, dynamic mic, XLR connection, etc. It's very, very nice. It's got, um, this boom arm is annoying though. As I said at the start, excuse me, I need to get another one. If anybody can recommend a boom arm, it's it just doesn't really stay in place no matter how I adjust it. And it does my head in. So we'll start here, I suppose. Monitor one. Sorry, monitor one, monitor two, and they're both Asus VG twenty seven AQs. I think they are fourteen forty p, one hundred and sixty five hertz. Um, got it this sort of orientation because it's very useful for work, work from home, and um, but it's also very very good for streaming as well as what it is. Um, the headphones, I suppose the next on the list, they are Steel Series. Good if I could remember what they're called. Steel Series Wireless Pro headphones, I think they are. They come like that and they come with a little um sort of wireless thing as well. Transmitter, I suppose. And if anybody's gonna get a desk, never get a black desk, because it's impossible to stay clean um with dust, etc. So, keyboard, this is a Corsair um straf. No, it's Corsair silent straf keyboard. Or strafe, I think it's called. Very, very good keyboard, and it's very quiet. Micro switch mechanical, not micro switch mechanical keyboard. Um, it's very nice and it's very, very quiet. Go XLR, um, mini is what that is. It's very, very good for. I use it for work actually and play and um, streaming as well. So you got your various different faders like so. That's the mic volume. That's the chat volume, I also use that for the volume of calls that are incoming when I'm working, VOIP calls, etc. Um, I use this for um, music for streaming, but I also use it for um, web 
so YouTube videos, so I can have that completely different volume to everything else, and this is just the system volume. It's very, very good. You can mute the various channels, etc., um, mute the microphone, and um, you can change the light colors, etc., 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 as well. So it's very, very, very good. Stream Deck, amazing. Look, Monkey Spas logo. Press that, and the stream starts. Um, it's cool. I like Stream Deck. It's, uh, yeah, if you're productivity wise or certainly streaming it's very 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 handy that there is a little weird desk fan literally ignore the cables i apologize literally arrived today um a fancy it's called fancy twin turbo fan it's like a baby blowing on your face that's about how good it is and it gets quite noisy as well but it's better than a fart in the wind so to speak um, Logitech uh, G502 light speed wireless mouse. Um, I like it because it's got multiple buttons all over the shop. Buttons here, buttons here, buttons here, buttons here, buttons here. Um, wireless Logitech, or sorry, I should say wireless mouse, Logitech mouse mat. And the good thing about this is the camera makes the mouse mat look a lot more dirty than what it is in real life. Um, the good thing about this is, as long as you put the mouse down there leave it there anywhere on the mat it charges the mouse so you never run out of batteries and um you don't have a cable to faff about with so it's very very good um the routers i've got two of these actually um the cover is a pair um ax92u's asus uh, routers uh, they're a mesh network router I've got one here and one in the living room um they're wired together the one in the living room is the main one and then i have everything in this room wired into this and what this does as well is extends the wireless network around the house so it works very very cool indeed so i like pop 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 figures not as much as some other people i've only got a couple um apex legends character claptrap uh, robocop so i've got two lights um they are elgato key lights i forget what they're called exactly because they're not the big ones, but they are uh, key light here, is what they are. So two of them, they're very, very good. Um, you can change the brightness, they're not set too bright just now. But it just brightens up the room because the lighting in this room is a little bit weird as well. So onto the case and the guts of the computer, I suppose. Cable mess galore. I can't even really be bothered, you know that? To even remotely try and tidy that up, it's, it's a mess. But the case itself, I'm not going to spin it around. I've taken the glass door off it just so you can see it. But the case itself is a Fantex P600S is what it is. Um, Corsair 140mm ML Pro white LED fans is what they are. They're all right. They're not the quietest when you get crank them up, but um, they're not the loudest and they look quite nice as well. Look, you can see me in the reflection. Um, so, yeah, we'll start from the top. There's a Maximus... Um, I think it's a Maximus X Hero motherboard. It's an X3, Z, the Z370 motherboard is what it is. 9900K processor under here. Got a Kraken X62 all-in-one water pump, which goes up to the top here. So these fans air in, these fans air out, this fan air out. Um, some G-Skill Trident Z, 3600 megahertz. 16 gigabytes memory is what that is some nice white cable tidy uh, cable extensions there and there um there's an nvme drive under there hello there's an nvme nvme drive under there as well um, and i've got three mechanical hard drives under here and i've got another i think i've got another two sata SSDs under there as well. USB extension card, so it basically gives you lots more USB ports. The, the motherboard's good as it is, it does have a lot of USB ports on it. Dusty. Do you know what I mean? The PCs, man. Look at that, I just made it worse. Like, I, I do keep this quite clean. Um, it's got a big dust filter on the front, front, but dust just seems to magically, magically find its way in as it does. So um, that's the motherboard, the processor, the memory. Um, graphics card is a Zotac, Zotac G, uh, sorry, Zotac, 
can't speak for beep, um, a Zotac RTX 2080 Ti Amp Edition, but I have taken off the stock cooler. Um, you'll see this NZ NZXT, God, that dust around me in there now. It's actually worse on the camera than what it is in real life. Um, NZXT, NZXT uh, Kraken Bracket, I think is what it is. Then an X42 here, um, and basically I can't show you, but the cooler is taken off the card and it's basically one of these, it's being water cooled. Um, using an AIO and it works very well. The only reason I've done it is just to keep the noise down a little bit because uh, the fans did like to ramp up on this RTX 2080 uh, Ti. Yeah, so it, it done my head in a little bit. Underneath you got an El Elgato um, 4K Pro capture card, it means I can capture Xbox One X, PS4 Pro, um, record them in 4K, 60, etc. But yeah, that's it. It's um, it's quite a nice PC in terms of PCs. 9900K, 16 gigs RAM, RTX 2080 Ti. These aren't usually blingy, flashy, nonsense RGB colours. It's um, I think I need to download an, an updated version of the software to change the RGB because it decided to stop working. So it is what it is, what it is, I suppose. That's it guys, it's um, quite a nice versatile setup in the sense that well the computer's good. Um, is there any reason to upgrade it just now? No. Nah, not really. Maybe when the next lot of um, Ryzen processors come out. Who knows, but 9900K RTX 2080 Ti, like my Funko Pops. Um, two monitors, 165 Hz, 1440p IPS displays. One thing I forgot to mention is that actually, which is the camera that I was talking to um, at the start of the video. Uh, I use it for live streams, etc. It's a Sony ZV-1 um, camera. It's very, very good. It's a little bit overkill for what it's being used for, but it is very, very good. And that actually goes into a Tamlink 4K, which you can just see behind there. That's it. Not bad. I hate that boom arm. Honestly, if anybody can recommend me a boom arm, do you know what I mean? That's probably quite an expensive arm if you buy it by yourself, but it does my bloody head and it doesn't stay in place no matter how I adjust it or the tensioners on it or anything like that. But there you go, folks. Hope um, that pleased the geeky people who keeps keep asking um, to see my gaming PC setup. It's quite nice. I'll leave it there, folks. As always, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Do you have a monkey in your pants?